What's it like competing mean? against 3,500 other people? <laughs> um, competing against 3,500 other people is, it would be the same for me if I competed against one other person because especially for the title I won, which is Top Gun, the you're competing against yourself. It's how, how can I better my last score? My name's Jack Kraslak. I'm a competitive shooter in trap, skeet, and sporting clays on the shotgun side of things. And then I do steel targets, which involves optic and unoptic rimfire rifle, rimfire pistol, and I also shoot the 1911 category in competition. My first memories of shooting were, I believe, I know for a fact they were here, and it was with my grandfather and my dad. I had to have been. I'd say at least under seven years old. I got my first bolt action 22 at seven years old. I took an interest in bench rest shooting. So that's how I started. That's how I got in. I really didn't shoot pistols, never shot shotguns or pistols. Shot pistols a couple times, but nothing large. Um, and yeah, we just kind of kept stepping backwards distance wise until I got into sporting clays. I like, uh, I'm not going to say it's completely adrenaline rush, but it's it's a little bit there, you know, you kind of get a feeling it's it's a cool thing to do, but that's not the main reason I shoot. The main reason I shoot, I love the competitive aspect of what I do, um, especially for sporting clays and steel target. Um, you know, I've always liked to compete, and this is just a way, another way I can compete, and it's something that, you know, I've built up, and I enjoy coming out, and I, I also see shooting long range with my grandfather, it's kind of like a bonding thing. The main thing that keeps me coming back is, I want to get that much faster, can I, sh can I add two clays on this, you know, on this course, can I shave quarter of a second, you know, tenth of a second off my draw, or anything like that. And you know, that constant strive for improvement keeps me coming back. Because you don't know if you'd like something until you tried it. And that was with me. I, you know, when I was five years old or however old I was when I shot my first gun, I didn't know if I liked it. I just pulled the trigger to see what happens. Try it and you leave that day with kind of two aspects. Either you've picked up a new hobby that you'll take with you forever and you'll love, or you can say, hey, I've tried it and you'll be a lot, uh, you'll be a lot more informed. Um, so it doesn't matter if you're just out there having fun with your friends or you're doing a shoot off in the grandstand with more than 3,500 people behind you. It just, you kind of zone in and forget they're there.